Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue our streak of camera tools videos. And we're going to go to View, Camera Tools. And we have our next tool in our list. We've already gone over the Tumble Tool, the Track Tool, and the Dolly Tool. And feel free to click those links to go look at those tools if you haven't already. Um, some of them are a bit more surprising than you would think with the amount of options that are in what seems like a pretty simple uh, you rotate the camera tool, right? But the next one is the zoom tool. Now, that, now, last time, our last video as of this recording was the dolly tool, which is very similar to the zoom tool, but it's a little bit different. I want to show you. So I'm going to click on the options here for the zoom tool. And double click them to set them into our scene. So you'll see that it's pretty lacking when it comes to options. That's okay. There's zoom scale. That's all we really have right now. Well, first, let's create something to zoom in on, right? So let's go to Create Polygon Primitives, and I'll make a sphere. Like so. Let's go back to View, come to Camera Tools, Zoom Tool. So you'll see my cursor changes to this magnifying glass shape. And I click and drag. You see, I zoom in. I'm literally zooming in on the object. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. So zoom scale, if I increase this, it changes the speed of the zoom, makes it faster or slower. If I go lower than 1, if I go down to like 0.18, which is pretty slow. And by default, when we hit reset, it's at 1, which is our standard speed for zooming in. Now this is different than Dolly. The Dolly tool, let's go ahead and show that again real quick. View camera tools dolly tool if I click and drag on the dolly tool let me adjust my camera so my sphere is more central I want you to pay attention to the perspective of the sphere for example look on the outer edge of the sphere you'll notice I can see this thin ring or loop of polygons on this on the side of the sphere and as I zip dolly in they get smaller, right? Because uh, my perspective on the sphere is changing. So you see at this point, I just see a little sliver of polygons around the curvature of the sphere. And as I zoom out, I see more of those polygons around the curvature. So I'm dollying, dolly in with my camera is pushing my camera physically in to the scene, right? Okay, go back to view camera tools, zoom tool now click and drag. If you watch those edge polygons, I still see the same perspective no matter how close I get. And that's because my camera is actually staying, pl staying put and I'm just zooming in the lens. My perspective is not changing. I'm literally zooming in. I'm making the image bigger. So that's the main difference between zoom and dolly. Dolly is you're pushing the camera forward on, on, on a track or on wheels if you want to call it that. Like if, you're, if you want to use film analogy, a dolly is to push the camera forward. A zoom is to adjust the lens to zoom in and the camera stays put. And you also can hit control, click and drag to do a box zoom. Let go and you kind of zooms in on that region. Those are really, that's really the only control for the zoom tool is hold down control for a box zoom like so or left click and drag to zoom in and out. And that's pretty much it for the zoom tool. So if you ever have a scene that you're animating your, your camera and you don't want to change the perspective but you need to get closer consider using the zoom tool. Thanks a lot guys. I hope you learned a little bit about the zoom tool and if you have any requests or questions or if I miss something let me know. I don't think I did. I just got the one option here. So I think I'm set for the zoom tool. <laughs> I'll see you next time.